I can't stop eating him. One, two. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Steak and Butter Gal, or SPG, SP Gal. You can also call me Bella. Today's video, what are we doing? I'm going to be sharing with you guys a very exciting recipe that my mama taught me just a few nights ago. I experimented with it and I've perfected it and I made it 100% carnivore. So there are absolutely no GMOs, no plant toxins, no sugar, no carbs, only quality animal ingredients. So what are we making? Pork jelly, pork jelly, pork skin jelly. It's in Chinese, it's called Zhu Pi Dong, which literally translates to pork skin jelly. So my mom raves about this food because she believes it is amazing for the skin. So ladies, this is true skin food. She says that it helps boost collagen in the skin, therefore creating supple, bouncy, glowing skin. Porcelain smooth, gray complexion, but mostly anti-aging. Steak and Butter Guy loves it. He's actually eating it right now for breakfast. Right, Steak and Butter Guy? Yeah. How is it? Really good. He says it's really good. He eats it at night, in the morning, whenever he wants something light and refreshing. It's a great summer snack. It's a great any season food because it's good for the skin, ladies. Okay, guys, first step, we're going to boil some water and we're just going to throw in the pork skin. So since these are rolled up, I'm going to drop it in and kind of unravel it so it cooks a little bit thoroughly, a little bit faster and effectively. So again, this step is literally just to blanch really quick, clean out any impurities and to make sure that the taste in the end is a little bit more pure. I'm adding some more water so it covers all of the pork skin. After six minutes is up, just transfer the pork skin onto a plate and we're going to start rinsing it with cold water to let it cool down. I'm using two rolls because I want to save the remaining two for steak and butter guy. As you can see, the pork skin is very tender. It's very cooked through. Now it should be easier to cut into small pieces versus raw. It's going to be very tough to cut. So now let's cut it up. If you can see, Simba is in the kitchen watching my every move. I find that scissors are just easier to cut up food. So I'm using scissors instead of a knife. Of course, you do you. You use whatever tools you want. Um, I'm cutting up into strip-like shapes. Of course, you can cut it into whatever shapes you want, star shapes, flower shapes, heart shapes. I'm just kind of lazy doing it really quickly ASAP so I can get it cooking. Traditionally, my mom said to remove the fat so that it's more pure, the color and the taste. But obviously, I'm not going to do that because I need more fat. So I will not be removing fat. If you do want to remove fat, you can literally scrape the fat off the whole strip before cutting it. And this is what it looks like. Absolutely gorgeous in texture, color and everything. Alrighty guys, so we have the beautifully cut up pork skin. As you can see, watch out for the mic. It was actually very effortless to cut. Now we're going to transfer it into the Instant Pot. If you don't have an Instant Pot, that is a-okay. You can just use the same pot that you blanched. I'm just using an Instant Pot because I have some errands to do and I can just let the Instant Pot do its magic without supervision. And I'm just going to add a touch of apple cider vinegar with the mother. Literally a teaspoon, okay guys? And that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna go for normal soup broth and they set it for 40 minutes. So 40 minutes it is. Let's open up the Instant Pot. Dun dun dun! Wow, that's so pretty. This whole mix of broth and pork skin into a bowl. I'm going to use this bowl. And keep in mind that the bowl that you use is going to be the shape of the jello. So I feel like this bowl would be nice once I flip it over and have it on a plate. It would be a nice little dome.
don't worry guys i will give some to simba at the end of this video and you can see his reaction so now i'm just scooping the remaining parts of the skin into the bowl and as you can see i also separated it into a cute little glass cup so i could try eating it as a pudding almost like a parfait now let's transfer these two containers of a pork skin and soup into the refrigerator let's do that right now isabella right now put it in the fridge there you go so we're gonna refrigerate it for at least four hours okay guys so it's been about five hours where i chilled the jelly and now we're going to see the final product are you guys ready i am let me do a little zoom in for you guys do you see that it is completely congealed not falling out whatsoever i want to show you guys the one in the bowl which i'm going to be flipping upside down and plating on a very pretty plate you can actually blend this so it becomes this beautiful creamy white color and texture there won't be any of the jellies visible it's just going to be like a white smoothie jello so if you care about presentation and you want to serve it as like a fancy dish for your family or friends or your date you could totally blend it up and it will look like a white purified jello but i'm just gonna eat this because i'm lazy oh guys it literally is just like a jello do you see that oh my gosh <gasps> Oh my god, babe. Mm. Dude, it's so good. So good? Mm hmm. Better than mine? Yo, it's so good. Babe, do you want to try it? You can eat it just like a pudding. Look at that, guys. I'm going to feed it to Steak and Butter Guy. You want to say hi to SB Fam? So. I didn't add any salt or pepper, yet I feel like. Oh, the flavor is so good and I can taste the fatty like broth taste as well as the texture of the chewy skin <gasps> there's so much texture I can't stop eating it it's so good guys guys please try it it's so easy if you make my carnivore version you can make like a huge amount of it and just freeze it, fridge it. Oh my God, it's so good. Are you guys ready? One, two. <laughs> Babe, it's so pretty. Okay guys, so my mom, is on the phone right now and she is quite impressed but not 100% impressed because she feels like I didn't really cut the actual pork skin pieces small enough of course she's gonna pick on that she's gonna pick on something right so if you guys want to perfect it cut the pork skin into tiny pieces so my mom says if you would like it to be beautifully plated you can garnish it with xiang cai which is cilantro Guys, SB fam, this which translates to, guys, this pork jelly has a lot of collagen, which is great for the skin's beauty and tightness. This dish is a beautifully delicate, decadent dish. Which means once you eat it, it's going to be hard to stop. It's that good. Okay, guys, so that's going to conclude today's video, pork jelly recipe video. I'm so glad that my mom could come on and say a few words, criticize my uh, cooking. But look, I love it. It's seriously so good. So good. I promise you guys, you're going to enjoy it. Well, I can't promise that, but... Let me just eat another bite because I actually like it. No, guys, like for real, it is oh. really, really good. And it really is a traditional Chinese method of like eating like nose to tail. 
Oh um, my god, nose to tail so forever. If you wanted a very authentic mm. form of Chinese cooking that also coheres to a carnivore diet, like you should check it out. You know, try it. It's, it's also really so easy. It's really good. And I really think um, even if you have like a westernized palate, it's something that I think you could acclimate to quickly. Yeah. And, if uh, you're like grossed out by the it. pork skin chunks, you can always cut it into tinier pieces. You can also blend it, like I mentioned, so it's just a pure white jello. Or you can always dip it, add salt, add pepper, add vinegar, soy sauce, you know, add some herbs and spices. Look, you guys can be creative, just like my mama's egg pudding, my zheng ji dan. You can do whatever you want. You can add whatever ingredients to rev it up, to make it more simple. Guys, I really hope you enjoy this recipe. Please do tag me on Instagram. Share with me your renditions. Tag me on your stories, your posts, whatever. And I would love to check it out. I would love to show my mom, make her happy. And I would love to repost on my stories. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye. We'll see you in the next video. SPG's out. Yes, and subscribe to our second channel, Max Bella. <laughs> Alright, you're cutting that part. Let's try no. giving him some. Simba, are you excited to try some pork rind soup? He's not gonna have the jelly because I just poured it into his bowl. Okay, Simba, stay. Look at mommy. Look at me. Go boy. Snow. Go boy. Done. Blink if you enjoyed that. Oh, he definitely enjoyed that, guys. Simba approved. Simba here is such a good boy that I'm gonna give him a little treat. We have here some raw liver. Look at him. Good boy. That's how I like it. You have to sit or be down as you're pleased. Okay. Okay, Simba. All right, Simba. Can you roll over? Simba, roll over, Simba. Oh, no, not spin, you crazy boy. Sit down, Simba, down. Gentle, Simba. Good boy. You see there's more, right? No more for you. <laughs>